So here at Camp C, we are uh, working towards a more sustainable future, uh, also for the construction sector. I believe 3D printing has a large future in that. For example, uh, more productive and uh, ways to, to build uh, your houses and also more cost-effective ways. A recent project here at Camp C is uh, we built a two-story house uh, with, with a 3D printer from Cobalt. It was the first two-story house in Europe. Uh, and what was for us a way to, to test uh, the technique, to test the printer, and to see what the capabilities of the Cobalt printer were. Uh, we were very happy with the results uh, as we're standing in it now. This is, this is the two-story 3D printed building uh, made completely uh, with 3D printed concrete uh, and uh, even a load-bearing and a floor uh, integrated in the structure. Uh, we, we also have a company moving in, uh, a building company who is who's very enthusiastic to be uh, working from a 3D printed house. And it's the, really the first here in, in uh, the local region and, and they are uh, renting it so that they can uh, have a very nice office space. Uh, the, the company that is moving in here uh, will be renting this space is, is a traditional company, uh, but are very looking towards innovative ways of also uh, to tackle their questions. They also have sustainable questions, they have cost-driven questions, and they're looking towards uh, interesting projects to invest in and to later on use as well. The main challenges we, we, we saw when, when uh, using the printer or using 3D technology uh, was initial, the initial cost, of course, is, is all the time when you're, you're working with uh, innovations, it's always more expensive uh, than other alternatives, but that's, that's typical with innovations. Uh, you always have to uh, invest more and that's what we do here at Camp C. We invest in new technologies to try them out and show the sector what the capabilities are. Uh, because later on the, the, those innovations will become more cost efficient uh, when it's more clear what, what their capabilities are. Another issue that we, we, we tackled was uh, the lack of regulations and norms for 3D printed houses. Uh, we, we gave sug suggestions to the local governments on how to tackle that. Um, and now um, it should be easier for other projects to, to also use 3D printed uh, structures. A third issue that we, we tried to solve with this project was uh, understanding the, the 3D printer and, and what the capabilities are. We showed to architects and we showed to building companies uh, what they can do with the 3D printer and, and how much you can realize, like for example, this this building that we printed here. The next step in 3D printing uh, is towards more sustainable materials for one. Uh, for now we're using just regular concrete, which, which of course has still high CO2 emissions. But we're seeing the industry using more and more alternatives uh, without cement or with, with alternatives uh, for cement. Uh, but also more freedom, uh, more degrees of freedom to use the 3D printer. We see it more, well, not only to construct completely new buildings, but also parts of buildings to replace maybe difficult parts uh, that, that, are not, that you cannot use in another way. Uh, we mean for us what it means is we, we want to highlight this project uh, as much as we can to show the building uh, the construction sector what, what is possible and maybe even think about some new projects here on site um, with sustainable materials. The future of 3D printing uh, will be in, in a number of different ways. Um, for one we can construct completely new buildings from that uh, but also in the prefab industry, in prefabrication you can think about tree, using the 3D printer for foundations, uh, for balconies, for uh, sub parts of a, of a building. We, we see some um, very nice creative ideas with arch architects that you can yeah, you can use your imagination what you can make with a 3D printer and that is not possible with classical technology. So we, we also use the 3D printer not only for this house but for a, a lot of different experiences. Uh, the students of, of Thomas More uh, use it to also print benches, uh, picnic tables uh, and even uh, artworks like an arch where you can walk through uh, that you can see really the, 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 the product from, from all sides and um, it really helps to connect the different um, uh, to connect the whole sector with the, with the technology. So we, um, we partnered with Cobot um, because of course we are, we are a governmental agency we have to write a tender and Cobot came out as first. Uh, we were impressed by the quality and the experience that they had. Uh, we were very happy also during the project with the assistance that they gave us um, without them, we wouldn't have been able to realize uh, this, this innovative uh, 3D printed building.